In today's Health Yes with Genesee Health Plan, we're talking about the relationship between health care and transportation. Here with GHP President Jim Milanowski and Mass Transportation Authority General Manager Ed Benning. Thanks so much for being here with us, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. morning. All right, so you guys have joined together to create a Rides to Wellness program. So can you tell us what that's all about? Well, the uh, Mass Transportation Authority has formed a new specialized service that provides um, on-demand transportation for those that need medical uh, transportation. As people are aging in place, there's a huge need for medical transportation. And so we've partnered with many agencies in the community to be able to provide uh, this very necessary service that uh, allows people to have a great quality of life. Yeah, this program is, is MTA's uh, Rise to Wellness, and it really does a, a great service in our community. So the Genesee Health Plan is able to take our members who are having difficulty getting to appointments, their medical appointments, and get them connected with Rise to Wellness. Mm -hmm. And I know you mentioned a little bit of the reasoning behind it, but why was this program created in the first place? The, uh, the uh, program was developed because we recognize there are gaps, and, and the gaps uh, come about as a result that people may not know the day before they need service to go to the doctor, but mm -hmm. they get up in the morning yeah. and they find, I need to go to the doctor. And so they need service that was provided uh, same day, and our goal was within 30 minutes, and so that's how we're operating today. Oh, that's fantastic. And who qualifies for this program now? The, uh, we have many organizations we're partnering with, and so those partner uh, organizations, such as Genesee Health Plan and others in the community, are partnering with us to pre-certify individuals that need the service and uh, qualify under their criteria. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about this, because some people might not realize this, but they are. How are transportation and health related? Well, I think uh, as we look at what barriers there are to becoming healthy, one of them is just getting to your appointments. Uh, what we take for advantage for transportation, jumping in our car and going to our appointments is, is more difficult, especially if you think about a mother with children uh, trying to get everybody rounded up to get to an appointment during the day. And that's what I like about Rides to Wellness is that it uh, can take not only the, the person, but the, their children as well and get them to the appointment and it makes it a lot easier. Then you can go to the healthcare appointment, get what you need, and they'll even take you to the pharmacy and all those things, right Ed? Yes. 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 Actually, once we uh, go to the medical appointment, individuals needing to pick up their prescriptions or go grocery shopping, we'll make sure that that happens. I would say today, 80% do that. They actually use all three services and so it's a, a great outcome. Well, that's fantastic. Now, how do you think this program is going to help Genesee County residents? I think it already does, doesn't it, Ed? Mm -hmm. it, it certainly does. When we started this service back in 2015, we were providing a couple hundred trips a month. Wow. We're last month 11,000 trips, same day. We uh, become the leader in the country. We're the model agency in the country for medical transportation in an on-demand uh, model. Uh, we don't want to call ourselves Uber or Lyft, but we're the public. <laughs> uh, we're the public uh, uh, Uber, if you will. Sure. Because so. you use that technology, right? Your drivers yes. can just—they don't have. To, they can just go wherever they're being directed with technology. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The new the new technology allows the the user to actually uh, schedule direct with the driver, and they can do it online. They can do it uh, by calling but uh, they'll be able to use an app and go in on the app and actually request a driver to pick them up. And so uh, for many that uh, need medical transportation, and it, this has become uh, uh, very important to them. And a statistic that is not well known is that 40 to 60% of the people that make an appointment today are no-shows or cancellations. Really, that it, many? That many. And in the country, it's, uh, the number is over four million that will not make it to a doctor's appointment. Interesting. And uh, so that number, uh, you know, if you have individuals, especially seniors, that miss their doctor appointments, they end up in the emergency room. Very interesting. Now, I know you guys recently received a grant for this program, so how is that impacting it going forward? 
The, uh, we actually received the highest grant in the country, so we're, we're really proud of that. Uh, the program, once we match the state portion of that, it's nearly a million dollars. That will allow us to expand service uh, to, to bring in services for seniors and persons with disabilities. That will be uh, an expansion of, of the current program. It allows us to buy vehicles, uh, expand software, and actually have an app that will uh, address uh, that growing need. Just fantastic. Well, thank you both for being with us. And I know there's so many more things to talk about still in this topic. And don't worry if you want more information about today's topic, make sure to log on to our Facebook page because we'll be answering more of those questions and any that you ask live on Facebook.